Hello, good morning. Um, my name is Cathy Timlin. I'm marketing manager at UCD Smurfit School, and we're delighted to welcome you this morning um, to our webinar, which will showcase um, the accountancy programs available at our school. I'll briefly start by introducing this morning's panelists and speakers, and also taking you through um, this morning's agenda. I'm delighted, um, let's make sure this goes to full screen. So this morning, um, I'm delighted to be joined by um, Dr. Sean Power, who is Academic Director for the Master of Accounting Programme, along with um, Dr. John McCallick, who is Academic Director for the MSc in Accounting and Financial Management. And we're also joined this morning by my colleague, Laura Keeley, who is um, an admissions manager in the Smurfit admissions team. So we'll start this morning with a short presentation um, delivered by Sean on the Master of Accounting program. Um, then John will deliver a talk on the MSc in Accounting and Financial Management. We'll conclude our webinar with a Q&A session so you can post any questions you might have relating to the courses throughout the webinar, and we'll do our best to address as many of these questions at the end. Um, we do need to finish promptly at 10 to 11, so please bear with us if we don't get to all of your questions, and we'll ensure to follow up in person with you directly after the webinar. Um, and I'll also have some top tips um, when we conclude the webinar as well for some further information. So without further ado, um, I'm delighted to hand over to Sean. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just share my screen. Good morning. My name is Sean Power. I'm the program director of the Master of Accounting um, at UCD Smurfit. And the purpose of this presentation is to provide you with further information on the program and also to address some of the frequently asked questions that we get from students at open days and various presentations throughout the year. One question we occasionally get asked is why chartered accountancy? why should students consider chartered accountancy as a career? Chartered accountancy isn't necessarily just about accounting. There are a diverse range of different departments that you can complete your training contracts within. For example, auditing, tax, corporate finance, and consulting. The, there is an excellent training program in place once you finish um, at university with professional bodies such as Chartered Accountants Island. There are also considerable opportunities in practice and industry once you qualify, and there are also considerable opportunities to work abroad with the qualification. The Chartered Accountants brand um, is also a well-recognized brand, both nationally and internationally, for future employers. And although the starting salary might not be that attractive with the training contract once you qualify and certainly once you gain a few years of uh, post-qualification experience, the, uh, the profession does offer um, a good salary. In addition, you start your training contracts with hundreds of other students who are in exactly the same position as you, who are gaining work experience uh, in many cases for the, for the first time and are going through the training program. And so there is a social aspect um, to the qualification process. A question I occasionally get asked is, what are the implications for spending an additional year in college versus direct entry uh, and going from your undergraduate degree directly into a training contract with say a big four firm? And this table shows you uh, a, a comparison between the timelines of direct entry versus the master of accounting route. With direct entry, you're required to complete a three and a half year training contract once you graduate. And so you would start your training contract with say a big four firm in September of this year. 
in the first year, you would write your CAP 1 examinations. In the second year after graduation, you would write your CAP 2 examinations. And then year three, you would write your FAEs. Because you're required to complete a three and a half year training contract, this means you'd finish up at some point in March or April 2024. If we compare this to the Master of Accounting route, in September of this year, you would start on the Master of Accounting program. The 2020-2021 academic year would be spent on the program. In the first year after graduating from the Master of Accounting, there would be no examinations. And this allows students the opportunity to uh, learn, uh, on, uh, learn on the job uh, without having formal examinations. In addition, once you have completed this year of no examinations, in year two, you would write your FAE examination. And because you're only required to complete a three-year contract if you've taken the Master of Accounting route, this means you would finish up in about September or October of 2024, which is only about six months later than your peers who may have chosen the direct entry route. Another question we occasionally get asked is, why do the Master of Accounting? Why invest another year in college instead of going direct, directly into a training contract after your undergraduate degrees? And there are a number of reasons, a number of benefits uh, from doing the EMAC, and these are just a few of them. Firstly, as a result of globalization, the workforce is increasingly competitive, and having a Master of Accounting from a top business school um, can really stand out on your CV, particularly in those years after uh, qualifying. Two qualifications is better than one. So it stands out on your CV having both your undergraduate degree and a master's from a well-ranked business school. I'll discuss in a couple of slides time uh, the exam performance of Master of Accounting graduates, but typically Master of Accounting graduates perform about 10% better than the national average at the FAE examination. There is good work-life balance on the program. It is a challenging program, but effort is made to uh, ensure that there is a good work-life balance and there is time to spend with your classmates outside of the classroom doing various uh, social activities. There is also significant focus on career skills in the program. It's not just about technical skills. It's not just about acquiring the necessary or the equivalent competencies to the CAP2 examinations. What I'll discuss in the next slide is the three pillars to the program. And hopefully you'll see that the, the program goes above and beyond just a pure focus on technical skills. These are the three pillars to the Master of Accounting program. The aim is to produce well-rounded graduates uh, who are able to perform well uh, in their subsequent roles in practice and in industry. The, the first pillar is core technical skills. The first half of the program focuses on the equivalent subjects to CAP2, for example, auditing, tax, financial reporting, management accounting. And these modules are necessary to grow your technical competencies, but also to gain exemptions from the CAP2 examinations. Once we've completed that first half of the program, the second half of the program focuses on the remaining two pillars. The second pillar is analysis and synthesis skills. There are specially designed modules which are focused at allowing students to improve their decision-making processes and to use technology to improve their decision-making processes. So we have modules in business analysis and valuation and technology modules on data analytics. In addition, we have a module on integrative issues, uh, which looks at case studies that factor in uh, a variety of different technical and non-technical issues. The third pillar is a focus on soft skills, developing students' communication, leadership, presentation, and other soft skills. Included among the modules is a capstone module where students are sent out in small groups to real-life companies uh, to 
address an issue that that company may have and students are required to work within a group and to apply what they've learned on the program to address uh, whatever issue the organization may face. We also have a professional development module uh, and other modules that focus on communication and negotiation. And I think what's important to point out here is we as accountants don't try to teach these modules, we bring in the best to teach these modules. So for example, when it comes to communication skills, the module is delivered by the Gaiety School of Acting. When we look at the exam performance of Master of Accounting graduates versus the national averages at the FAE examination, historically we see that the master's graduates perform approximately 10% above the national average at the FAE examination. In addition, graduates of the UCD Smurfit program consistently place within the top 10 uh, in the FAE examinations. So in the most recent sitting of the FAE, uh, one of our graduates placed first and was awarded the golden medal, which is awarded when students achieve 80% or more in each of the FAE examinations. Some final points. The GPA entry requirement is a minimum GPA of 3.3. You are required to have CAP 1 exemptions, but if you're missing a couple of exemptions, you can sit those uh, missing CAP 1 uh, exemptions as an external candidate uh, before the start of the program. This year, Chartered Accountants Island has moved the CAP 1 examinations to early September, so you won't have an opportunity to receive your results before the start of the program, but that isn't a problem as long as um, you're registered to write uh, your CAP 1s, your outstanding CAP 1 uh, examinations in September, we will give you conditional acceptance and you'll be admitted onto the program if you meet the other entry requirements. The Master of Accounting typically has a class size of between 30 and 50 students, um, and this has two main benefits. Firstly, um, it's a very personal uh, teaching and learning experience. Uh, the lecturers know the members of the class on a first name basis by the end of their modules. In addition, because of the class size, members of the class get to know each other uh, and, and have the opportunity to network amongst each other on the program. The teaching team is an expert team of lecturers, and it's a good mix of both academic staff and also practitioners uh, from practice and industry. So we have many ex-partners and uh, we have a director uh, of a listed firm who teach modules on the program. Finally, um, the program has an impressive uh, list of alumni, uh, many of whom uh, hold leadership positions both in practice and industry, uh, nationally and internationally. If you have any questions on the program, there's a general Q&A after this presentation, but feel free to contact, if it's an admissions related query, uh, the Smurfit admissions team, or if you have a query on the program itself, then send me an email. Um, my email address is listed on the slide. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean, um, for that presentation. Um, I'm now going to hand over to Dr. John McCallick, who's going to talk to you a little bit about the MSc in Accounting and Financial Management. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm John McCallick, and I'm the Academic Director of the um, MSc Accounting and Financial Management. And before I put up the slides, I'll um, make a few brief comments about the, the program. I guess if I was thinking of doing a master's right now, I would be thinking, what are the benefits to me? Where am I going to be, you know, this time next year or September uh, um, 2021? Um, and how is the master's going to have benefited uh, me? Um, and I guess the answer in relation to the MSc in Accounting and Financial Management is that it will benefit people who do it because firstly, they will be uh, finished a master's at a top business school. Um, and this hopefully will open some career doors that might not be open uh, right now. 
And then secondly, um, you will be well on your way to an accounting qualification. Uh, in fact, you'll be nearly there to an accounting uh, qualification. And this will be a really powerful force when put together with the masters from a top business school uh, to get your career started and you know, accelerate uh, your uh, career progress. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen now and we'll have a look at some uh, uh, slides about uh, the program. Okay, so um, an accountancy qualification, I mean, what can that do for you? Well, it expands your career options um, because there are simply jobs that are not accessible to people who don't have an accounting qualification or are not lining themselves up to get an accounting uh, qualification. It makes higher level jobs accessible as well. If you're going into a finance function within a company, a financial services company, um, or you know, all, all sorts of organizations, only people with accounting qualifications can progress up the ranks in those kind of jobs. It's a long-term investment in your career. You will have a qual an accounting qualification for your life, and this will mean that you will have more flexibility with your career. You can um, uh, switch uh, um, uh, from different jobs that would not be accessible to other people. It's internationally recognized. Accounting qualifications are a great way to travel internationally because you have um, uh, you know, a set of skills that is recognized all over the world. And it provides a clear path to uh, faster career progression. So um, uh, even if you decide not to use your accounting skills that much to go into general management or marketing or uh, something else, um, your accounting qualification can still accelerate your career because you, you have that um, financial uh, skill set. And it's, it's you know, you, you, you not only have that skill set, but that has been verified by being member of the profession. So I guess the four, um, the four boxes here, these are the kind of careers uh, that are, are open uh, to people who have a master's and an accounting qualification. The finance team of big companies. Um, uh, so that is where you are working as an accountant within a company. The second one is practice. That's where, uh, like the MAC, most, most of the people from the MAC would go into practice. Um, that is where you provide accounting services as part of some of the big uh, accounting firms or um, there's, there's a lot of other accounting firms other than uh, the big four. Finance, so there are lots of career opportunities in finance companies down in um, the IFSC and in other places and they all want um, uh, at least a good portion of their employees to have an accounting qualification as well. And then consulting. Um, many consultants have an accounting qualification as a basis for their uh, career. So just to keep, you know, keep um, consistent with Sean's presentation, this is how things might look if you did the MSc Accounting and Financial Management. Um, well, you, you are going to graduate in uh, 1920. In 2021, you would be in the Smurfit School doing the MSc for uh, the full year. Um, and the really great thing then is in 21, uh, 22, once you finish the uh, MSc, you are entitled to full exemptions from uh, SEMA. Uh, well, they're full exemptions with the, exemption, uh, with the exception of their final exam. So you are then entitled to sit their final exam um, in kind of October uh, 2021. Um, and if you do that, you could be a past SEMA finalist and be completely finished with accounting exams in, you know, a year and three months. Then you've got uh, SEMA require you to get three years of work experience. So, you, you know, year two and year three will be working within a company. But remember, you're working within a, within a company as a past finalist. You've done all your accounting exams. 
This means higher salary, higher career progression, and you don't spend your whole time working and studying at the same uh, time. I should also mention we do offer ACCA exemptions in this program as well. Uh, however, you would have to kind of spend, uh, if, you, if you were really quick, you could spend year one of working doing your remaining um, uh, ACCA exemptions and then do uh, the finals of ACCA at the start of uh, year two. Just to give you an idea about salaries, newly qualified accountant, this was a study by Brightwater, um, about 50 to 58,000 uh, in Dublin. Um, and as you can see, you know, salaries for accountants are, as Sean said in his presentation, pretty uh, generous. Why should you do this program? Future proof, proof your career with a master's from a top business school. So this is a significant thing. Smurfit has all the accreditations and the rankings uh, and employers understand that. A fast route to an accountancy qualification, either SEMA or ACCA. So study in university for next year and be well on your way to an accounting qualification. Develop your accounting and financial management skills. Um, push further then at your undergraduate degree in your accounting and financial management skills. And this is particularly important that we, we cover the material in a different way on the MSc. You'll be doing much more case studies. You'll be integrating your knowledge with strategy and organizational uh, development. We'll be preparing you for career roles. Um, learn in a university environment with great lectures and materials. So you will have done if you take the SEMA route, you'll have done most of your SEMA education within the university environment. And, you know, um, uh, that's a lot easier than working a full time job and studying at the same time. It's practice based and career focused. So we are trying to develop your skills that are very practical and that you'll be able to put into work uh, immediately in your career. And there's a significant focus on career skills in the Smurfit School and um, uh, you know you will get uh, help and assistance uh, preparing for a career. So the entry requirements, uh, a 2-1 business degree plus applicants are required to have demonstrated strong academic ability, uh, a 1-1 or a 2-1 in at least one accounting module and one finance module. So I guess most business graduates would have um, at least one accounting and one finance uh, module. Um, so these requirements are not as restrictive as the MAC. We can take in students who have done a business degree and have not specialized in accounting and just have um, one accounting and one finance uh, module. So that's a big difference between this program and uh, the MAC. An expert team of lecturers academic practitioners and uh, from industry. We have one lecturer who uh, was previously the chief financial officer of um, Paddy Power. Another lecturer was a partner in Deloitte um, and um, a third lecturer uh, works in Bank of Ireland in uh, foreign currency. So we have a lot of practice in this program as well as theory. And there's a network of alumni from this program. This program was previously called the MSc in Strategic Management Accountancy. And we have alumni from this program. And often, obviously, you'll also be part of a bigger alumni group from uh, the Smurfit School and uh, a lot of very uh, senior accountants uh, who graduated from the MAC program over uh, the years. So thank you very much. Um, you can talk to the Smurfit admissions team and Laura's on the call here as well um, at smurfit.admissions.ucd.ie or contact me directly, john.mccallick uh, at uh, ucd.ie. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Thank you. That's wonderful and um, thank you so much um, John and we hope that you found uh, both uh, presentations insightful and informative. Um, I don't see that we've any questions coming in on the live Q&A so in that event I'm just going to ask Laura Keeley who is our MSc admissions manager to give a few tips about applying to the Smurfit School.
Thanks, I'll hand over to Laura. Hi everyone, um, so my name is Laura Keeley. I'm one of the admissions managers at the UCD Michael Smurfa Business School. So at the moment we are open for applications. So if you are thinking of applying for either of the programmes, I would say to try and apply as soon as you can. The application process is uh, online. So all you need to do is to um, log into the UCD system and then the application would consist of submitting your CV. If you're a UCD graduate, we don't need your transcripts, but if you haven't studied in UCD, we would need to see your academic transcripts. Um, and also then there are two short questions about applying for the programme and your career goals. And that's the application itself. And then you normally would hear back from the team within two weeks. Um, we also have uh, numerous scholarships uh, for our school as well. So again, a lot of the scholarships will close the end of June. So that's something to bear in mind if you are thinking of applying as well. Scholarships will close in the next month. We have um, also for UCD graduates, a 5% tuition reduction. So that's for all the UCD graduates. Um, and then we also have scholarships for both UCD and non-UCD graduates. But again, they close the end of the month. So if you are thinking of applying for scholarships as well, to um, maybe bear in mind that with your application too. Um, so that's really all from admissions. Again, if you are thinking of applying, um, everything is done through our UCD system and to try and apply as soon as you can. Thank you. Thank you very much, Laura. And we've one question in there, John, for yourself um, relation, in relation to exemptions from SEMA that are linked yes. to the NSP Accounting and Financial Management. I'm just going to paste, uh, post the link here to the SEMA exemptions. Um, that's on SEMA's own uh, website, so you'll be able to see exactly um, uh, the exemptions that you get uh, from SEMA. It's basically all the uh, SEMA exams with the exception of the final um, uh, admitting exam for SEMA. Uh, so you, you're, you're, very, you're very far up the, up the ladder by the time you complete this uh, program. Thanks very much for that, John. So just in concluding, um, I just want to share the slide with some uh, information points on it. Going full screen here. So as um, everyone has mentioned, um, there is the, for general inquiries, we would urge you to contact Smurfit Admissions. I've provided the email address there, smurfit.admissions at ucd.ie. And we also have the Unibuddy um, online chat facility um, through our website. I would draw your attention also to the fact that there's a Smurfit admissions information session taking place tomorrow as part of the UCD virtual open day. Um, so again, we can circulate and we will after this webinar send you the details if you wish to join that tomorrow afternoon. As Laura mentioned, we do offer a number of scholarships and I would draw your attention to the excellence scholarships which are open at the moment um, until the 5th of July. So further details on our website there as well. And do bear in mind that as UCD alumni and graduates, you are eligible for a 5% tuition reduction um, on your fees. So um, do bear that in mind as well if you are considering applying. Um, I hope you found today's webinar beneficial and we will follow up with each of you who joined us um, with further information. Um, and please do get in touch if you have any additional questions. Many thanks for taking the time to join us um, this morning. Thank you.